Good day folks, in today's video we're going to be talking about the different gimbal modes on the Mavic Mini. If you're new to the Mavic Mini and you're new to DJI drones, you might be going through the settings and wondering, okay, what the heck is that for? In this video we're going to talk about what the difference is and I'm going to show you some samples. So let's just jump right in and take a look. So like I mentioned in the introduction to this video, you might be brand new to the Mavic Mini and might be brand new to DJI drones. If you've been going through the DJI Fly app trying to familiarize yourself with the uh, Mavic Mini and all the different settings, you may have come across that gimbal mode option and wondering what that's for. I'll kind of break it down here for all the new users who might be uh, having this as their very first drone. Basically on the Mavic Mini we have a three axis gimbal. The gimbal is used to keep your footage stable. As the drone's flying through the air, the wind is moving it around, the position of the drone changes quite frequently depending when you're flying and you stop. So the gimbal will keep your horizon level and keep all your footage nice and stable. So a three axis gimbal has three pivots in which it can move in order to keep your footage stable. You can see here the gimbal moves side to side, that's called the pan axis. It moves up and down, that's the tilt axis. And here you can see it twists back and forth and that is your roll axis. Most of the time when you're flying and you want nice smooth footage, you're gonna be leaving it in the follow mode. That's the default mode and that's how you want it most of the time. That's gonna keep your horizon level and keep everything nice and smooth. If you switch it over to FPV mode, that basically kind of locks the roll axis the side to side movement there. You've probably heard the term FPV before. That stands for first person view. And basically when you have that mode enabled, it kind of gives it more of a dynamic feel. When you're turning the drone, the horizon goes from side to side. A lot of people like to turn the FPV mode on when they're flying their drone with a set of goggles. So now I'm gonna show you some demonstrations here and uh, what the difference is when both are enabled and disabled. In this first clip here, I'm gonna show you, I have follow mode enabled, that's the default mode. And I'm just gonna be flying back and forth like this. As you can see here in this clip, everything stays nice and smooth. And you wouldn't really know that the drone is kind of going on its side at all. That's the roll access working. As it flies back and forth, the drone twists like that, but the roll axis keeps it stable. Now in this next clip here, I'm going to enable the FPV mode, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to send the drone back and forth like that. But now, as you can see in this clip here, the horizon kind of follows the drone, and that's because the roll axis is locked. As the drone twists to make its maneuver, the horizon is going to stay locked to the position of the aircraft. So like I said, if you're using a pair of goggles, it really kind of makes it feel a little bit more immersive. But I know some people also like to film in FPV mode even without goggles and then edit those clips into their drone videos. It does make for some really interesting shots. So in the next couple clips here, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're flying. For this first clip here, we're going to put the drone up and we're going to leave it in the standard follow mode. As you can see here, as I'm turning the drone, the horizon stays level and the footage stays nice and smooth. Even if you take a sharp turn at a high rate of speed, the gimbal is going to keep that horizon level. Now here in this next clip, I've got FPV mode enabled. You can see here as I'm turning and maneuvering the drone, the horizon matches the angle of the drone. As you can see, it does give you an interesting perspective and it gives you that sensation of flight. Anyways, folks, that's basically it for my video. Hopefully you found it useful if you were wondering what FPV mode was. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.